In the next problem, we're going to create a frequency distribution. Construct a frequency distribution for the data. Let's start off by counting up how many values we have in this list. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we know we have 16 different items. We're going to have a table where we're going to put in column 1 the data value. In column 2, I'm going to go ahead and put in a column for the tally mark. And then in column 3, we're going to have the frequency. So we're going to have a data value. And if we list them in numerical order, we notice that the smallest value we have in this list is 3. And then we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the largest value is 10. So I'm going to run across the list, and we're going to tally as we go. So we have an 8, 5, 3, 6, 5, 10, 6, 9, 4, 5, 7, 9, 7, 4, and then 2 eighths. And now our frequencies, we have 1, 3, and then 2 fours, 3 fives, 2 sixes, 2 sevens, 3 eighths, 2 nines, and 1 ten. And we can double check by adding up our frequencies. We have 3, 6, 8, 10, 13, 15, 16. So we know we have all accounted for.